So, um, I think it's a little bit dark, but hopefully you'll be able to see me. So I got a couple candles that I'm going to talk about. I don't think I can hold them all, but I literally got six of them because Yankee Candle is having a sale, excuse me, of uh, buy three, get three free. And this was on Thanksgiving. They were doing it Thanksgiving evening, Thanksgiving, yeah, Thanksgiving evening, Black Friday, and I don't know about Cyber Monday, but definitely check it out. So the first one that I got, these are all, they're all the 22 ounce um, jars. This one is Magical Frosted Forest. And I guess you're supposed to sniff the the actual top. That's what the lady in the store said. I don't know if she's like certified candle sniffer, but that's what she said. This one is kind of like your general like Christmassy tree um, kind of sweet scent. So, you know, have to get it and it's green. Um, I might link or put like the actual scent if they have it described, I don't know if they have it described, like maybe on the bottom or something. Yeah, definitely not. Um, yeah, no. But fun fact is that the Yankee Candle is actually made in the U.S. and I totally didn't know that. Um, I kind of thought that maybe like the bottle or the glass jar was from China. I don't know. Everything's from China. Okay, the next one, which this one I swear is new because I've never seen it there but it's the kitchen it's called kitchen spice and it smells like spices obviously and it has like more of a cinnamon a little bit of nutmeg i don't know but it's really subtle so i feel like it's not going to give you a headache if you don't like spices which i don't know who doesn't um then this one i got because i thought my husband would like it this one is the Silver Birch. This is not new, but I still haven't seen it. This one kind of smells like soap with a tree. <laughs> or, no, I don't even, it smells kind of a little bit grassy with a little bit of like, I don't know, uh, the, um, I'm trying to think of the name of the soap, but I can't think of it. But this one's, again, like subtle, and I felt like this was kind of, you know, an any type of season candle. Like you could do that in the spring if you wanted or in the winter. In the winter. And then this one, they, so they have this new line now. It's called like Returning Favorite. And this is Jack Frost. So this is obviously like a winter one. But I don't know what the Returning Favorite meant. Like I guess it just, it's returned. But this one is very minty kind of candy cane like it actually does kind of smell a little bit like snow which is weird like I don't even know how they do that but this one is good I will say that when I was burning it though it's actually kind of hard to smell this scent like because it's so subtle but the mint is kind of the only thing that like shines through and then this one uh the warm luxe cashmere so I wanted something that I could also burn at any time and this literally smells like your dryer like it's but a little bit a little bit more sophisticated and I really liked the picture too I mean right like packaging sale but this one's this one's this one's good like I think anybody would like this one and then I also got sparkling snow which again is a Christmas one so this one is definitely different than Jack Frost. Jack Frost, like you can even see that the like this one's more stained or whatever, off-white. But let's see, Sparkling Snow, it's more sweeter. It definitely has like a, a little bit of cashmere scent to it. I haven't burned this one yet, but I feel like this one will be a little bit more subtle. And it does have kind of like a clean scent, but I really like that one. And I think out of all of them, my favorite is the Magical Frosted Forest. Like it just smells like Christmas in a jar. Like it's perfect. And I love that it's green. I don't know why, like it's like a really nice pretty green. Um, and I really think the Kitchen Spice is just really interesting. Like I feel like this, this would be 
like anybody would kind of like this. Like my husband was like, ooh, I really like that one. Where he's kind of picky with candles, so, you know, I think I did kind of well there. Yeah, all in all, um, I think it came out to be around $80, which sounds kind of a lot, but I literally got like six, six 22, what is this, is it 22? Yeah, 22 ounce candles. So I'm not gonna need to buy any candles for like two, three years, depending on how much I burn these, which I don't, I don't normally burn them like a lot. It's kind of like on and off, so we should be able to get a lot of use out of it. But I hope you guys picked up some candles, and if you did, let me know.